this video I'm going to do an individual integral problem. Um, it would be typically found in a Calc 1 class. However, it's going to be an approach where U substitution isn't going to work. So then you're going to have to come up with some other approach. All right, um, something like this. Integral of 1 over x squared minus 4x plus 4 dx. All right, clearly a U substitution is not going to work because I can't find something, um, you know, where if I take the derivative of it, it's going to cross out or anything. So another algebraic technique is what I've got to use. Now, if I take a look at this polynomial here in the bottom. Hopefully you recognize that this is going to factor really easy as a perfect square trinomial. All right, so factoring that with the actual formula for a perfect square trinomial is going to give me an integral um, 1 over and then an x minus 2 quantity squared dx. Okay, so I have to do some type of algebra manipulation first before that U substitution is going to come into play. All right, so now I can let my U be X minus 2. So U is going to be X minus 2. Take the derivative of both sides. I'll have a DU is equal to a DX. Okay, so then I'll come back up here to my altered integral here and I will have the integral of 1 over substituting u in for that x minus 2 I'll have a u squared and then substituting dx for du I will have a du. Okay from here pretty straightforward I'm going to move that u squared up and make it negative so I'll have the integral of u to the negative 2 du. Alright now I can integrate this um, adding 1 to that exponent there will give me a u to the negative 1 and then putting that in the front there I'll have a negative 1 and then plus c. Alright, um, last step here would be cleaning it up, replace u with what I originally said it was going to be and since it's, it is to that negative 1 power, let's go ahead and move it down to the bottom giving us a final answer of a negative 1 over an x minus 2 and then plus c. Alright, so um, after you, you know, figure out, okay, well, what do you have to do? What kind of algebraic manipulation do you have to do before you can get started on that integral? Once you do that, then it come, becomes pretty straightforward with your U substitution, and you can go from there. Um, so just kind of watch for, um, there's a variety of different um, algebraic techniques, and the more you do, the better off you're going to be. You're gonna, it's going to feel more natural as to what should be done. Definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, uh, please share with your friends so that they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.